Samsung has been dominating the smartphone market for a while now. Be it an affordable smartphone like the Galaxy A53 or the flagship S22 Ultra, Samsung always has something for you. They also have a pretty good footprint in the entertainment segment with QLED TVs, soundbars, AR, VR, and whatnot. But you may be surprised to know that this tech giant was also in the camera business but failed miserably. But how? What went wrong so badly? Watch today's video to find out. The failure of Samsung's camera operation lies deeply in the success of its phone business. The rise of smartphones with competent cameras has destroyed the low-end compact camera market, a market in which Samsung enjoyed considerable success. The brand didn't perform quite as well when it ventured into the mirrorless market in 2010 with the NX10. It was the first in a series of solid but unremarkable models which failed to attract those looking to buy into a camera system despite Samsung offering a decent lens range. Samsung also had a technology partnership with Pentax in the digital SLR market. This resulted in Samsung cameras looking more like Pentax cameras. With the GX20, they went a little bit further. It had the same body, lens, sensor, and exterior controls as the Pentax K20D with minor differences. So who's going to buy a Samsung when they can get a Pentax instead? That's the question most traditional photographers will ask. That said, Samsung was pretty innovative. It bought out the Galaxy camera, which featured a 4.8-inch touchscreen and used the Android OS in 2012, while a year later it launched the Galaxy NX the first mirrorless camera to have Android OS. But it was 2014 when Samsung really understood what photographers were really after when they launched the brilliant NX1. With its excellent 28 megapixel APS-C sensor, fast hybrid AF system, and 15 FPS burst rate, the NX1 certainly impressed, and perhaps if the Samsung branding had been replaced with a Canon or Nikon badge, it would have been more successful but less than a year after launch, it disappeared from the shelves. In 2015, there were some rumors that Nikon has acquired Samsung's NX camera technology, which would potentially allow Nikon to launch a series of high-end mirrorless cameras, but both companies have denied this, and there doesn't appear to be any evidence that a deal's been done. Samsung made a very significant investment in the camera business, probably billions of dollars, and their market share was small to be charitable. Because they couldn't gain a foothold in the market, they probably could not justify significant further investment in it. It would have literally been throwing money out the window with no return. If you spend billions developing a product line in a market that is already shrinking and initially shows signs of success, it's probably a red light to continue the investment. Likewise, the market for point-and-shoot digital cameras was shrinking rapidly with no end in sight. Back then, smartphones were already offering better cameras than the cheapest point-and-shoot cameras available on the market. The only point-and-shoot cameras that were performing well were models with advanced larger sensors, and also these models didn't sell in the same numbers as the cheapest cameras, but make up for it with higher prices. Another thing to keep in mind is that even then, the camera market was quite competitive, with Canon, Sony, Panasonic, and Fuji, among others with solid offerings. As such, Samsung couldn't hope for more than a small slice of that market either. So that was our thought about why Samsung cameras failed. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, consider subscribing.